Right. Morning everyone, welcome to the next episode. I have my brother here, Simon. Morning. He's going to tell us what he's thought of Bermuda so far. It's been absolutely amazing. This is some place to live and if only I was brave enough to come here and do it like Marky did, I'd uh, be living some life in here. So we're going to go out and explore some water playing out some reefs. Can't wait. We're going to go explore the reaches of Ether. So I'm diving but Sai is snorkeling but hopefully he will get diving. Lacey keep on, uh, on him and make him actually learn to dive properly. But also we're going to give a shout out to Lacey back in Glasgow who is my little stepdaughter daughter. and she's Mark's biggest fan. So hey to Lacey. Hi, Hi Lacey. Lacey. And we're going to jump into the reaches of Ether. So let's jump in. We're jumping on our coasts and we're going to go south of the island and let's go exploring. Hey. There you go. Your, your equipment, the third one in. Oh, right, morning. Um, Lily's gonna give away. Here I no, am. she's not. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. <laughs> morning, guys. Some other members of staff. You can treat however you like. Uh, we do have course director Mark. Morning. Instructor Holly. Morning. Um, Captain Hines upstairs morning, morning. in his fetching red shorts. Uh, he is the joint most important person on board today uh, with the owner of the shop, uh, the Lord Commander uh, Mark Deal himself, who's just at the back here. Hey guys. Um, so Captain Hines sits upstairs in his big. we drop down in the winter waters of Bermuda, we start heading along to dive the Rita Zaveta. This is one of the most popular wrecks in Bermuda. The ship was built in 1919 by Stephen and Sons Limited, a Scottish shipyard in Glasgow. Now this cargo steamer was originally known as a war gaskin and was outfitted to be a tanker. But two years later, the ship was converted to a carry dry cargo and sold to Parodi and Akami of Genoa, Italy, and renamed the Ritas of Etha as it is known today. Sailing from the port of Potti in Georgia on the Black Sea to Baltimore, Maryland in 1924, the vessel with a 52 foot beam ran aground in high seas at the northeast end of Bermuda, just off St. David's Lighthouse. Now, it was a hurricane that forced the ship towards the breakers where the ship unfortunately hit and went down. But luckily there was no loss of life and most of the cargo of magnesium ore was offloaded before the ship sunk on the 13th of February 1924. The ship, like the Palalian, which is just next to it, was heavily salvaged for non ferocious scrap metals such as brass and copper pipes several times during World War II to help the war effort. Now what is staggering is this ship pretty much sank on the same breaker that Palalian did. Now the Palalian sunk in 1940 and they're very close together where if you're good on air and you're on your own private boat you can dive both wrecks in one dive. But when we're out guiding the dive bermuda we just focus on one of the wrecks at a time. Because it is a fair swim between the two and they're both at depth as well as we are moving along the sand patch at the deeper section of this wreck. Now, tide is out at the moment, so it's around about 18 meters, but normally this dive site can be around about 20, 21 meters, which is around about 69, 70 feet as we move along the bottom part of the wreck, where now the mooring of this dive site is. It's a moored buoy dive site, which means in Bermuda law, it's a marine park, it's an MPA, it's a protected area 
with around about 200 meters around from the mooring so there's no fishing allowed in this wreck which means normally there's lots of life you can get eagle rays here i've had turtles here and as you can see right there the winch going up to the mooring ball you know you're the deeper part of the wreck initially when you drop down that mooring line and you can just see the reef coverage and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pan round just now so you can see the deep part up to the shallow part and the scale of this wreck now of course this ship was taken down by a hurricane in 1924 so it has been ripped up a lot and destroyed but there's loads of cool swim throughs and there's plenty to see and explore when you're looking along as you can see the iconic image that big drive shaft that's sitting along there now holly is signaling to the divers now are you guys okay to drop down under the wreck now there's actually a cool swim through where you actually can drop under the wreck and go explore between. Normally you get lion fish in here, sometimes glassy sweepers, but it's really cool going under the wreck, as you can see. The way it's resting there above the rocks as you move between the scrap metal, the sharp shrapnel of the metal, and then work your way up towards a little hole. Now Holly runs it going this way. I normally go from the shallow end, drop into the deep end for it because it's quite cool coming out the other way as well where you come in and see the whole wreckage but this way is awesome too because when you come out of it you see all the bubbles coming up from the wreck and you see the breakers where the wreck hit and sunk in 1924. You can see the divers are loving this giving us waves shock us because it's awesome coming through and this is where this dive site is so famous. When you look at pictures of the Rita Zaveta, it's the massive drive shaft that's running through this whole wreck site. The way that is all the structure around it has come away, but this drive shaft is still pretty much sitting on the wreck, like a huge gas pipe almost, but this is actually the drive shaft of the wreck. Lulu is all happy, and what's really nice being close to breakers, it brings a lot of life. Normally, you have Bermuda Chub, Grey Snappers kicking on this dive site. Now, it's the ocean. So, some days you have life everywhere. Other days, you have very little. So we never make promises when we're diving these sites that we're gonna have loads of marine life because it's not an aquarium. We never know what is gonna be there on dive sites. For example, as I said earlier, I've been on this site and I've had a turtle just swim past. I've had an eagle ray go past. I've had more eels out swimming on this site. You just never know in the ocean what could come out of the blue and what you could see. But this wreck is spectacular to explore and dive. So at this area of the wreck, we're around about six meters, seven meters. So about 20 odd feet, nice and shallow. So this dive is great for all level of divers. And then you continue away from the wreck, heading westwards, and there's more wreckage coming along, but you come to this cool arch this in the breaker, and you work your way through here, and normally it is full of glassy sweepers. And normally when there's glassy sweepers about, there's a chance of lionfish as well. But look how many glassy sweepers are here just now. They were everywhere hiding on this. And as I expected, around this corner, there was a lionfish. Luckily, there was another group coming past me at the time who happened to have a spear. And as I said before in the videos loads of times, lionfish are invasive to Bermuda, so we actively hunt them. And thankfully, this diver did not miss, but this lionfish made an easy target. This fish was around about 15 to 16 inches in size. In Bermuda, the lionfish get pretty big. Now, give you an idea of the scale, we come out of this arch and you can see the divers all ahead of me moving along. We drop a bit deeper again, maybe to about 10 meters, go along the breakers on the inner side of the breakers, close to, close to the island, and we turn right at the breakers heading south that drops us back towards the huge drive shaft of the Rita Zaveta. Everyone is buzzing, everyone's having an awesome time, and if you're ever diving this wreck, you have to go check out the boilers. And I call it the window 
but it's actually a part of the hold doors going down. But it looks like a window the way it's standing. Now, it, you can go through it and explore through it. If you're at the deeper end of the wreck, you can run along the side of the wreck, the deeper section, running westwards and it'll bring you to this window. Or you can continue in the shallower part westwards and you'll see the boilers and drop down. Personal preference if you're diving this which way you'd like to go and there is normally a gap in the boilers that you can go up the side as almost like a slight overhead but I normally don't take divers in that way just because it looks a bit sketch sometimes and it can cause some people to get uncomfortable so I normally don't take people through there unless I've got really good divers and members and normally there's groups of Cirillo Ras or Carillo Ras at this area. You can see Holly all wrapped up, smiling, waving away. I think she has three wetsuits on her, maybe even four at that point. She was cold, it was getting cold. I was actually in a dry suit at this point, just now before my dry suit gave up and broke, but it was awesome. In the summer, it's around about 88 Fahrenheit, 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. And the winter, it can drop all the way down to 16 Celsius, which is around about 60, 62 Fahrenheit off the top of my head. As you see, size waving away, in snorkeling, having fun. Everyone had an awesome time on the boat today as we explored the Rita Zaveta. Whoa! Oh, no. <coughs> Right. <laughs> oh no, I'm up, I'm up. Oh, you're up, Jack. So, at least you can see you being sick. I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when it was. You can stand in a snowball, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready to go snorkeling? Yeah. Yes, can't okay. wait. Good. <laughs> oh, here we can go. Look at the little social club going on. I'm saying look at the little social club going on. Exactly. We're talking about socks. Yeah. Socks. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I bought a Christmas sock. Right, go. Hey, Abram. Si is going to give us, tell us about his experience. Oh, it was a great day. So we went to two different dive sites. The first one was pretty choppy. The second one was a lot calmer. So I was able to go snorkeling and I was watching all these guys uh, underwater. It's an amazing day. Loved it. And Mark Dio, the owner of Dive Me, is all laughing at us now. So this is my mum. She's here as well. And me and Holly were guiding oh. on the Rita Zaveta, which is an awesome dive, and then the cathedral. So we hope you guys enjoyed that. And we'll see you next week. Peace out. You going to say stamps? No, nothing at all. I'm hungry. <laughs> all right, let's go get food. <laughs>